Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles, a thousand victories. The A-10 Thunderbolt II is undoubtedly the face of the US Air Force. And this machine was built both for a thousand battles and, yes, for a thousand victories. This beast is fondly referred to as the A-10 Warthog, for both its aggressive and menacing looks. But what exactly does this aircraft represent, and why is it so revered? This is a journey through America's toughest, boldest, and most intimidating guardian that soars above, the A-10 Warthog. The A-10 Thunderbolt II is the U.S. Air Force's primary low-altitude, twin-engine, close-air support aircraft manufactured by Fairchild Republic, now part of Northrop Grumman. This aircraft is widely known as the Warthog, the Flying Gun, and the Tank Buster, and was used extensively during Operation Desert Storm, enacting in support of NATO operations in response to the Kosovo Crisis. The aircraft has also participated in various operations, such as the Southern Watch, Provide Comfort, Desert Fox, Noble Anvil, Deny Flight, Deliberate Guard, Allied Force, Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. What makes the A-10 an aircraft that the U.S. Air Force relies upon? That goes to its unmatched high survivability, versatility, and effectiveness. The primary application of the aircraft is ground attacks against tanks, armored vehicles, and installations, along with close air support of ground forces. Currently, a total of 281 A-10 aircraft are in service with the United States Air Force, Air Combat Command, Air Force Reserve, and the Air National Guard. The first flight of the A-10 was in May 1972, and there were 713 aircraft produced. The production of the A-10 came to an end in 1984. It was the Fairchild Republic who initially built the aircraft, and has been the primary contractor for the A-10 since 1987. In 1977, the A-10A achieved its initial operating capability, while the A-10C achieved in 2007. What sets the Warthog apart from the rest is its fearsome GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun that's mounted on the nose. The GAU-8 is capable of firing armor-piercing depleted uranium and high-explosive incendiary rounds. Well, it's made for some violence. The A-10 Thunderbolt II operates with excellent maneuverability at low air speeds and altitude, and is also a highly accurate and survivable weapons delivery platform. The aircraft can linger in areas close to the battle stations for long periods of time and can operate in low ceiling and visibility conditions. Missions can be conducted in and out of location near the front lines because of its wide combat radius and short takeoff and landing capability. With the help of night vision goggles, A-10 pilots can also conduct their missions during darkness, making this aircraft an invisible one. That's not all. As the Thunderbolt 2s are equipped with night vision imaging systems, goggle-compatible single-seat cockpits forward of their wings, and a large bubble canopy that provides pilots with all-around vision. Security is something that elevates this aircraft, and in the interior, pilots are protected by titanium armor that also acts as a shield to the parts of the flight control system. The aircraft has the capacity to withstand direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles up to 23 millimeters. The self-sealing fuel cells are shielded by internal and external foam. Manual systems back up their redundant hydraulic flight control systems, enabling pilots to both fly and land the aircraft in case of losing hydraulic power. The two TF-34 GE-100 non-afterburning turbofan engines, supplied by General Electric, each provide a massive 9,065 pounds of thrust. The location of the engines allows the pilot to fly the aircraft with one inoperable engine. The aircraft comes with a standard range of 800 miles and a maximum speed of 420 miles per hour. It can reach an altitude of 45,000 feet, has a length of 53 feet, a height of 14.5 feet, and a wingspan of 57 feet. The A-10 aircraft was initially launched in 1982, and all along these years, it has seen some major upgrades. It was in 1978 when the aircraft came with the Pave Penny Laser Receiver Pod, which was able to sense reflected laser radiation from a laser designator. But now the Pave Penny has been discontinued as more advanced targeting pods are adopted. In 1980, the aircraft started receiving an inertial navigation system, and later, the low-altitude safety and targeting enhancement upgrade helped in providing computerized weapon aiming equipment, an autopilot, and a ground collision warning system. 
In 1999, the aircraft adopted the use of global positioning system navigation systems and a new multifunction display. By 2005, the entire A-10 fleet began receiving the precision engagement upgrades that elevated this beast into a much more deadly and efficient one. This upgrade included an improved fire control system, electronic countermeasures, upgraded cockpit displays, the ability to deliver smart bombs, moving map display, hands-on throttle and stick, digital stores management, lightning, and sniper advanced targeting pod integration, the situational awareness data link or saddle, variable message format, GPS guided weapons, and upgraded DC power. Speaking of delivering smart bombs, the Thunderbolt II is capable of employing a wide variety of conventional munitions, including general purpose bombs, cluster bomb units, laser guided bombs, joint direct attack munitions, wind corrected munitions dispenser, AGM 65 Maverick, and AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles, rockets, illumination flares, and the GAU 8A 30mm cannon a literal barbarian that's capable of firing 3,900 rounds per minute to defeat targets like tanks. The A-10 aircraft has the capacity to 11 store pylons, providing an external load capacity of 7,260 kilograms. Three pylons of them are under the fuselage, and the loads can be configured to use either the center line pylon or the two flanking fuselage pylons. The A-10 Warthog indeed proves to be a terror among the unnerving depths of warfare. It is an asset to the United States and its allies, helping it to achieve victory in a plethora of operations. Its efficiency and features are indeed unmatched. Well, what do you think about the Thunderbolt II and its capability? Does this aircraft deserve to be called the Warthog, the Flying Gun, or the Tank Buster? If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that we can entertain you with more new videos.